So the idea is corn gets really tall. It's hard to get on the field as the corn's getting taller, but that's yeah. when the fer it needs fertilizer. It doesn't mm -hmm. need it in the fall when it's easy uh, to put it on. It needs it when it's four feet tall, six feet tall. Got it. And so now we go between the rows, we remove height from the uh, equation. We, so that was the issue? Yep. Those big, whatever they call them, uh, tractors? They're tractors, yeah. The big tractors are fine when the corn is short. not grown or short. Yep. But once it grows, you're gonna demolish yep. it. And there, so they make equipment that can handle taller corn, but basically it gets harder and harder to do it without messing up the crop. Right. And so a lot of farmers just say the heck with it. We're gonna put so more So this is like on. a little tractor that runs through. Yep. Now, what does it do intelligently? Does it know where it is? Is it aware of the corn on either side? Is it using yep. LIDAR? What is it doing? Absolutely. So this version is using LIDAR to see the crop. So many times ah. per second, it's adjusting its course. So it never knocks out a stalk of corn. That's, yeah. That's theoretically. Yeah, yeah, theoretically. That's where Once we're Once in a while, it could hit a bump. Yeah. I mean, it's it, not on level land. I saw it. It looks like... Right. So, that's what's crazy about it is when you see it running through the field like that. Yep. You could see it wobbling and hitting yep. bumps. Like, this is not a controlled environment. Absolutely. It's better than self-driving car world. Is it? It is. Well, because you're not risking hitting somebody. Yeah. So there are going to be people on a field, but very infrequently. Very infrequently. Uh, and it's a fairly structured environment. These rows, they're planted ah, known spacing. Right. Uh, there's probably 50 different ways to plant a field. There's not 5 million. Mm. Uh, so we have that working for us. We can probably put a machine on a field without knowing anything about the field in a year or two. Gotcha. Where you probably can't do that with a self-driving car. You need and here's it. another view of it. So we can see here, it looks like, a, you know, like the raptor in um, yep. Jurassic Park going to the cornfield. Yep. You know it's there because it's, it's wobbling through. And that is dropping fertilizer? Is that what it's, it's doing? It's spraying liquid fertilizer right at the uh, base of the plants. Uh, in a controlled way, getting it right right where the plant needs it at that it. stage. So that's pretty brilliant right there. That couldn't be done before. So they would just dump a lot of it on earlier. Is that what would happen? Exactly. Or they would, some farmers would use equipment that could get in over top of corn that tall, yeah. but a lot of them wouldn't. Because uh, it's too expensive or? It gets risky because yeah. if it's, there's actually a lot of psychology. If you run over some corn that's tall, it really hurts if you're the farmer. I can imagine. If you run over short corn, which would have gotten tall, you're like, oh, well, you can't yeah. really see it so much. Yeah, more same, vested. Same consequence at the end of the season when you harvest, but it's emotionally, it's a it's a hit. Makes sense. And here is the, uh, I could see it going through the field. That was pretty cool, too, to see its first-person perspective. Exactly. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Let me stop for a moment this amazing episode, and tell you about the Walker Corporate Law Group. Yes, they are a boutique law firm that specializes in the representation of entrepreneurs and startups. And Scott Walker is the founder of that company, and he is a personal friend of mine, and he does a great job working with startups. I have literally introduced him to dozens, maybe hundreds now, of startups, and they all rave about the services of the Walker Corporate Law Group because their lawyers have decades of experience. You're not going to get junior associates who are getting on-the-job training with your startup. No. They're going to help you with mergers and acquisitions, licensing, terms of service, privacy policies, formation, all this kind of stuff, fundraising. And they're really great at it. And they do fixed fees. They don't want to surprise people with crazy, crazy bills. They think that billable hours can reward inefficiency. So they'll just be fair with you. And that's what I love about them. Because if you're a startup, you don't want to get that sticker shock and get a huge, huge bill. Make sure you use the Walker Corporate Law Group. And you can do that by calling Scott Walker at 415-979-9998. 415-979-9998. You can email him, scott at Walker Corporate Law. Dot com, or you can visit walkercorporatelaw.com as well. Scott at walkercorporatelaw.com and let Scott Ed Walker on Twitter know, at Scott Ed Walker, know that you, hey, you watch the program and you appreciate him supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. One of my oldest advertisers, one of my oldest friends in the industry, just a great guy, a total mensch, and he really takes care of the startups who work with him. Thank you, Scott Walker, for supporting This Week in Startups. Bye-bye. Okay, let's get back to this program. Come on.